My name is Alison Wiley. I'm a senior software engineer at Dropbox, and I work on our home and files tab. Dropbox is on a mission to design a more enlightened way of working. It's the place to keep life organized and to keep work moving. Dropbox is available in 180 different countries and has over 1 billion downloads in the Google Play Store. What I love about Android development is getting to make things and see them in people's hands. It's really rewarding to see people use Dropbox and to see it make people's lives easier. We were interested in adopting Compose because of its first-class support for design systems and its tooling support. We've rewritten many features in Compose, including our file previews, the search experience, and the home tab. We rewrote our search experience in Compose in just a matter of weeks. It took 40% less time than anticipated to build the feature and took less than half the time than it did to build the feature on iOS. After launching the redesigned search experience built in Compose, we saw a 13% lift in search success rate, which is one of our key metrics. Once our features were rewritten in Jetpack Compose, it was incredibly easy to A-B test and quickly deliver new features. The fast feedback cycle and interactive previews in Compose have allowed us to quickly experiment with UX and test our assumptions. This allows us to get features in front of users much faster. Compose makes developing features and screens fun and fast. The declarative nature of Compose, along with its approach to state management, makes it easy to create the view layer of our app. Compose allows us to create a mental model about the state of the screen and the presenters at any given time. Android Studio's support for fast and flexible previews of composables allows for a fast iteration cycle when working on views. This means that engineers need less time to build the app, which is a huge boost of productivity for a large app like Dropbox. Compose's interoperability with views makes it easy to try Compose in portions of your app instead of requiring an all or nothing approach. We rewrote our files experience in Compose, which allows users to view videos, audio files, and documents. Compose's interoperability with views allowed us to move forward with adopting Compose while letting us still interact with classic views like ExoPlayer or document preview views. Compose enabled us to build our design system on top of Material Theme, which minimized the time it took to lay the groundwork. It was easier for our team to build a cohesive brand experience for Dropbox using Compose compared to the legacy view system. I recommend building UI in Compose because it's fast, straightforward, and easy to reason about. Compose gave us a fresh start in a lot of key areas that have been historically hard for Android developers, such as recycler views and adapters. We plan to continue building our design system in Compose and expect that new features will be written using Compose as well. All of the benefits of Compose have made building UIs for Android really fun and fulfilling. I'm excited to see what new functionality Google and the open source community create next.